I think if I had to describe Tony in one word, I, I always think of Tony and I remember smiles. Very giving. He wanted to set a good example. He was unapologetically himself. He, you know, he always, what you saw, you know, was who he was. He was always uh, praying and, uh, and thanking God for where he had gotten and how he had gotten. Everything was because of him, of God. He had a presence about him. Anywhere and everywhere that he went, I think that people were drawn to him. Um, and he was someone who was definitely someone you'd remember, um, someone who you wouldn't forget easily. He really loved his family, everyone. He was always nice to all the people crossing by our house. He was nice to everyone. My dad was very determined. He was stubborn. And he, if he put his mind to something, he would always find a way to achieve it. It was Del Rose. We had to fetch water from the, the dam. There was a dam and it had a, a, a little play, place where we had to, we all fetch water, you know. No electricity. They were barely putting the electrical poles when we left. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up, he promised my mom that he would, you know, get a house as soon as he could. And he did. He did every bit of everything he ever promised. It was like he was, he was our dad. You know, my dad never was around for, for so many reasons that it, 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 it doesn't matter anymore, but Tony was the one that took us to get immunizations. He's the one that went to our meetings at school. He's the he one took us to school every day. <laughs> took us to school, picked us up from school. He's the one that let us know if the boyfriend we had was not what, like he, <laughs> yeah, what he had in mind and he just let it be known, you know, he was, he was just, he was like our dad. If we ever he had a like father a figure, he let you know. <laughs> if, he, if we ever had a father figure, he was the one. He was it. Ay, pues tengo muchas que lo describen, que pues fue buen hijo, Y, y fue obediente y fue cariñoso y, y sobre todo se preocupaba por nosotros. So I always remember that because he came holding on to the bottom of the railroad. He almost fell you know a that train times. that they call the beast that that has taken so many That's limbs how he got from the, the immigrants. <laughs> That's how he crossed the border. Yeah. Yes. And then you know I don't know how long later they just said that he was finally in Houston. Houston was the magic word. Yeah. He finally made it to Houston. He was a quick learner. I mean, he, nothing stopped him, you know. There was a time where he was so desperate, but he would not give up. Another thing I remember was one time we were in there and it was like seven o'clock at night, you know, the sun was going down and a couple came in and they opened the door and saw no one in there and they were walking away. And Tony went after them. He's like, come in and try it. I promise you, if you don't like it, you don't have to pay for it. I've been coming to Tony's since the first week he was open. I brought my granddaughter over here because I love Mexican food. And uh, so, and of course Tony's was probably a fourth of the size it is now. And uh, we enjoyed it, but I told her that we probably won't come back because it was kind of greasy. And uh, so we waited uh, a couple of weeks, I guess, and came back and it got better. And it kept getting better. <laughs> and I'll keep coming on back. I've been coming here since the beginning, so I do believe that's 1992. Next year will be my 30th anniversary coming here. And um, I average four, five times a week if, if I'm in town. And when I'm not in town, everybody notices. I come back, I'm like, oh, you're back, where you been? I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I happened to be doing outside sales for my husband back in 91. And I walked in here and I met Tony and he was getting ready. It was, you know, he didn't open till 92, but I'd ask him, I said, uh, you think you could 
give my husband and I a chance, you know, at, at being one of your subcontractors. He said, sure, I'm going to sell tacos. <laughs> I've been coming to Tony's for right around 23 years. He was able to uh, just make you smile, give you the smile of the day and, uh, and the greeting. And that's why I think a lot of the people come here because of the, he made them feel comfortable. He, with his welcome home, uh, he's kind of known for that. It's on all the marketing materials. I've been coming to Tony's, the one in the original location out in Katy, about 20 years ago. So I guess 2000, what is that, 2000? Wow. Um, coming here for a long, long time. My name is Mac, and I've been coming to Tony's for over 25 years. Every time I come here, I, I, somebody knows my name. The, the valet parker knows me, you know, so. You know, it's a, uh, it's a great experience for me. I love how people come here for special occasions. Um, the amount of birthday parties, baby showers, graduations that we've done, uh, company Christmas parties, it's, you know, we've seen it all. When you walk into Tony's, expect for everybody to say hello and welcome home and hi. Um, expect good food, great service, get ready to become part of our family, basically. There's like a really first name basis between the employees and the customers. Like whenever in a regular comes in, they're like, oh, can I have this employee? Can I have this other one? And we're like, sure, we're happy. <laughs> and they're willing to wait. You know, we love our customers. People have been coming to Tony's for 20 years, 25 years. Well, I have customers, they, they call me before I come in. And they say, Jesus, are you going to be there? Yes, sir. Say tip for me. So at Tony's, we call them clients because they're more than just someone. <laughs> like they are, they're almost, especially the regulars, they're family. They're not just people that come in and purchase something from us or, you know, just come in and get some type of service from us. We actually have a relationship with these people. You know, they, they are a family to us. Bueno, yo tengo muchos regulares, muchos clientes regulares que no solo me tratan como un mesero, sino que como familia. So they make me feel part of their family. So that's what's special. You know, it's so special about my customers. So. La mejor parte ha sido trabajar en familia. Los customers son algo especial para nosotros, mucho menos para mí en todo el tiempo que tengo trabajando aquí, que es de ellos vivimos, de ellos disfrutamos cada momento, cada historia que pasa con ellos. Es, es un día a día de vivir mío en especial y pues eh, damos lo mejor para ellos. I know some of their customers for like 15 years, 16 years, and they know me when I was teenager, and now they see me now and say, Evelyn, you're still here, and we love you, and we love Tony, and we love Tony's family, and well, they know us very well and we know them. We don't need to ask them what they're going to drink or what they're going to eat because we know. <laughs> I'm pretty much greeted with my drink of the day which is Bud Light. I used to try to drink the margaritas but they uh, they send me to another area in the brain where it, it, uh, it's uh, I just stick with Bud Light. Let's go for the margaritas. I, I judge a Mexican food restaurant by the quality of the margaritas. Um, got to limit yourself. They're very good. This is my first one today, but I had some yesterday and the day before. Oh, I'm on the VIP program and I'm confident Tony's loses money on me every time. They also won free margaritas for a year coming here on the, uh, the giveaway that they did back in April. If you buy a conventional margarita, they're not as cold. I get them down to 15 degrees, but actually I think it was Tony's recipe is where everybody likes. I think people eat the food just so they can handle the margaritas, but. Él estaría muy, muy contento, más que todo, que su sueño de ver a sus hijos trabajando en el restaurante lo vio before that y ahora. One thing that's definitely a standard for us, it's non-negotiable is quality and excellence, uh, not just in the service, but in the food that we serve as well. Everything from the meat to the produce, we try our very best to get the best that there is. Serve quality, that's what my dad always strived for. That's the standard that he set and we're not changing from that. 
a lot of these recipes are, are family uh, recipes designed by my grandma along with my dad. Working at a restaurant is not easy and the service industry is not easy. That's why we truly are very thankful for our staff and we love them and we want the, to give them the best anything that we can on our behalf because without them we literally would not be able to do any of this. Tony's has always believed in the importance of giving back to the community, whether that be schools, the fire department, police department, children's sports associations, or individuals. To this day, our community continues to be one of the most important things for us as a company and as a family. If you met Tony after 2005, you knew he loved Jesus. He made it known to everyone he spoke to despite the criticism and judgment he received for it at times. In 2007, Tony and Liz strongly felt the call to ministry and so began their journey as pastors. This, of course, had an impact on the way they viewed the restaurant. It wasn't just a restaurant. It was another way to serve God and people. Tony was so full of life that it almost felt like he would live forever. However, on July 2nd, 2020, Tony received his welcome home from the Father in Heaven. What I miss about him, first thing that comes to mind is his smile, um, but um, everything. I'm just going on the bikes with him. Ah, pues todo. No hay un día que yo no lo extrañe. No hay un día que yo no lo recuerde por una cosa por otra. Y si no, desde que despierto, estoy. Mi mente es con él. Yo no me conformo con que se haya ido, pero voluntad de Dios. Pero yo lo extraño mucho. Lo extraño a él y, y pues, pues extraño todo. Todo extraño, sí. Así es, es que, pues qué. En, en una palabra, todo, todo. Oh, I love, I love a lot of things. Siempre, siempre me despertaba con besos. Pero más, más, más. Que muchas veces eh, me quedaba dormida viendo tele o, o así que estaba muy cansada y solo me acostaba. Y él me acomodaba la almohada y me ponía como me ponía para que para que estuviera. Siempre estaba pendiente de esas cosas, de esos detalles que que son muchos. There's a lot. The amount of love and support that we received from our Tony's family, staff, and customers was truly incredible, and we will forever be thankful for that. Tony lived life to the fullest. He dreamt big and always looked to the future with excitement, vision, and big plans, which is why it is only fair that we do the same. It is our mission to carry out the dream of a young boy who truly never stopped dreaming. We don't intend to simply sell food for the next 30 years. We intend to carry out a dream, a vision, and a legacy. A dream that was big enough to become reality, a vision that continues to evolve, and a legacy that will leave a mark on generations to come. We've loved having you with us for the past 30 years, and we'd love for you to join us for the next 30. Tenemos 30 años eh, como Tonis, queremos estar otros 30 años más, y como el señor Tony decía, mi casa es su casa, y nos vemos 30 años más. We would like to close the video with memories of Tony. So we asked family and friends to describe him in as few words as possible. Here are their answers. If I could sum up my dad in one word, it would be welcoming. He's very welcoming. If I were to describe my dad in one or two words, I would describe him as a family man. One word, I would actually use the word dreamer. He was a dreamer. He was very giving and very quick to help others. Amazing. Excelencia, perseverancia, 
humildad. No, no, pero no tengo la, la palabra. Unstoppable. You know, dedicated, focused. Generous, kind, loving. Y excelente persona, um, un amigo, uh, un jefe, buen jefe. I, th I think uh, kind. Well, love of family, love of God. I mean, I, I would just say, I would say love. One word. Family. Giving. Like my brother said, family man. I would describe him as family man. Son tantas. Determinado.